Welcome to Utah! This is a really weird entrance for a national park. I'd ask if you want to get your picture taken in front of the sign, but it looks like there's a line. there appears to be a lot of people here. Stay still. 107 degrees. 107 degrees. We only got 71 miles of gas left. Yeah, we're cruising. That's right. And 108. I, 108 degrees. And look at me. Look at me. I'm wearing freaking pants. You're wearing pants. I, what was I thinking? I told you that. And you said, no, because we're just going to catch a sunset. All right. So first major stop of day Point five. We'll name this half a day. This is not day one because we weren't here the whole day. Okay, fine, day one. It's balanced rock. Which way do you want to go? Whichever way you want. I'm assuming it loops around, so. Okay. Supposedly, um, the trails here in Arches National Park are supposed to be marked by cairns. We haven't actually seen any yet. Um, but the only problem with the uh, trails being marked out by Cairns is that Jordan is going to need to go against every urge in her body to knock them over. After spending a few hours exploring the park, we decided to head to our hotel, unpack the car, and relax for a few hours before heading back to Arches National Park for sunset to round out day one in Utah. First hike of day one. nuts. So the, we are in Arches National Park for day two. Jordan's looking at me funny because now I'm talking to the camera. Um, no, day two in Arches National Park. So far we have hit three of the arches that are towards the end of the um, the scenic route, the, the route you're supposed to drive. So we hit Pine Tree Arch, um, the Tunnel Arch, and the Landscape Arch. So now we are out here looking for the Tapestry Arch. It's not even labeled on the sign at the trailhead. So we're thinking that maybe um, maybe it fell. But then we are heading to, after that is, what's the name of this next one? The one on the other side is called Sandy Mountain. Hey, I see one. Oh, don't do it. Karen's update. We have seen a single Karen the entire time we've been here oh, since wait, yesterday. Wait, and broken arch that's the other one i've got to tell you she's done a great job not kicking them she 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 did leave it all right here we go
I think thus far on our trip here in Arches, I think the Tapestry Arch, the one that's right behind me here, is... Yeah, the one Jordan thought didn't exist because there was no mention of it anywhere. It has by far so f has been one of our favorite favorite arches because we were able to walk right up to it and get some um, pretty pretty cool pictures that I can't wait to get back and uh, look at later and edit. Karen update. Karen two, still standing. Number three. I gotta say, you're doing a pretty terrific job of leaving them. Still, oh, oh, here we go. Okay, number four. What was that? I'm tired. Tired? Well, how many arches have we seen so far today? Six? Five? Five. Seen five arches. I don't call them super arches. Including the broken arch. <laughs> they were just all the way over there. That's the tapestry arch. But we've seen five arches so far. And what time is it? 10 11. We got here at what? 7 30? Um, 7 40 or something. 7 40? So it's been almost. It's been 7 42 if you do that. So we've been here for almost three, almost just about two and a half hours. Oh, I have service here. Yep. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's only 83 degrees. <sighs> so, five arches so far. We've got, we're gonna go hike and see. The rest of them but um, you can literally just see everything out here it's our last night in Arches National Park um, so we're only here for a day but we're still going to be in this area because we're going to Canyonlands National Park tomorrow because it's only about a half hour away. But since it's our last day here, we just figured that we would come out and we'd enjoy a uh, Utah Can I sunset. Film the yep. <laughs> enjoy the sunset and eat some pizza. So we got Pizza Hut. I drink it up. And Sprite. And we are just sitting here and watching the sun go down. So this is the last thing that we're going to be doing here in Canyonlands. Um, there's been a lot of smoke, so we haven't really been able to do much while we're here. But we're at the visitor center now, and we are going to make our way down the Schaffer Trail, which is a road that um, bobs and weaves, bobs and weaves <laughs> in and out of uh, the side of the canyon. Um, and we actually went there last night and uh, saw the canyon, but. Now we're going to be driving through it, and then we're going to t split off that road to make our way back to Moab, because um, we just about finished up here. Um, we didn't get a chance to go to the other half of the park, the lower half of the park, mainly because uh, needles. the needles, because it's two, but just under two hours away, um, and we did not account for that, so we're just over here today, but. Yeah, so we're going to go drive that road, and then our time in Canyonlands will be up, and we will let you know where it sits on our National Park rankings out of five parks. Schaefer Trail Road. Here we 
we are making our way. Making our way down there. Back country. That's so cool. But of course, there's a car coming up. <laughs> that was dangerous. <laughs> and that's where we witnessed uh, the losers. Oh, Wait, are we going down there? Yep. I have a good picture of that road from above. He's got the look at those wheels. The all-terrain tires. I mean, that Jeep is prepared. Wearing a Kia Optima. <laughs> Alright, dude. Yeah, we get it. We're eating dust. Where'd the Jeep go? Where'd he go? Oh, oh he's gone. He's gone. He's just gone. Next I'm gonna see him like at the very end of that road, like as far as I can see out. Nah, he said screw it, he just went right over the edge. Yeah, so that Jeep continued right on the white, white rim road. They're going for 1200 miles. That's white rim road is straight. This turn up here is no tax road. That's the road that we need to take to get back to Moab. 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 Here we go. White rim, white rim road it is. Permit, oh, permit required. Yeah. Four wheel drive required. Well, that shit's not gonna have any problems. 32 miles to Moab. This so far has been one of the one of the craziest experiences that we've had since we got to Arches in Canyonlands National Park. Um, we actually just drove down the side of a canyon, which was really exciting. It was cool to see that there was another park out here that had a similar off-road um just off-road road that you could get to to see more of the views and to give you a better idea of what I'm talking about we just drove down that canyon over there no this was actually this was actually fun we I enjoyed this road there were some definitely some points in time where I was a little bit nervous, mainly because I don't do extremely well with heights. And we got really, really, really close to the edge a few times. But overall, it was a lot of fun. But no, there's just like, look at this. Look at this. Just these cliffs are crazy. But yeah. It's 100 degrees, so I'm gonna get back in the car now. Colorado River. After spending a few hours on the road back to Moab, we headed to the hotel to relax before returning to Arches National Park for one final sunset in the Utah desert.